Hey everybody, Gunson Undercover. Today is Monday, October 29th, 2018. It's somewhere around 4.45, quarter to five Eastern Standard Time. I'm out here at Cheesequake Park. I'm just walking one of the many paths that they have. Sort of a nice fall day. Had a little cloud, sunshine. Now we got sunshine. Tomorrow's supposed to be sunshine. So today's talk here, walk and talk, I'll call it. Well, today's walk and talk is I did a story about English Town reporting a story, a good guy story, where they helped somebody out. And in that story, they took a little bit of indirect aim at me, which will bring us to the subject what I'm talking about, which is not about English Town, but a point that they brought up. It says, uh, unfortunately, as noted in the card, posts on social media often paint uh, often paint police officers in a negative light. Some refer to positive police posts as copaganda. Well, let's address that. I never post anything on my Facebook or my YouTube channel for the purpose of bashing anybody. I don't derive any pleasures from bashing anybody. What I do derive pleasure from is exposing the truth and the lies and the deceptions. And I take exception to the notion that when I report the truth about what police are doing, that I'm somehow bashing them or portraying them in a negative light. That's just not the case. I report the truth. Because the problem we have, one of the problems we have is Police don't want you to know the truth. They don't want you to know what they're doing. They operate in secrecy. And that's a problem. And then they know that there's a lot of gullible people out there that believe all the nonsense that they put on their Facebook. We see it all the time with the copaganda. Now they're targeting kids. Every, every little copaganda story is targeting little kids. They're giving out candy to kids, crayons, coloring books. Now it's Halloween, so they're doing uh, trunk or treat where they're handing candy out from the back of a police car. It's copaganda. We know what it's all about. Yeah, they're portraying a positive image to the, to the, to the children, but the children are going to learn when they get older that that's not the case. They're going to learn, some of them are going to learn they're going to get yanked out of the car, they're going to get tickets, they're bop, bop, bop. And that's the truth, and I'm, I'm all about the truth. I'm not into this BS stuff. I don't buy it, and I'm not, and I don't want it. And I take exception to anybody that says that my postings are bashing police, or painting them in a negative light. I paint the truth. And I would say to police departments out there, maybe you need to start, stop, and step back and take a look at yourself, and look what it is that you're doing. Because what you're doing is negative. And most of police work is negative, if you look at it. Yeah, they respond to first aid calls, fire calls. Occasionally they save people, and that's positive and that's great, and I'm happy to see them do that. But the bulk of what police work does is extortion and harassment, especially in these little towns where they don't have much money, so they rely on that revenue. And English Town is a great example of that. They don't have enough money to support the police department, so they have to revenue enforcement, and that is negative. That is a negative thing. Police by nature is a negative activity. And I would say to anybody out there, when you see a police story, ask yourself, were the following things present? Harass, extort, hurt, and escalate. Because usually, when any of those ingredients are involved, those cops are acting bad. When those things are not involved, those, those, don't describe, those words don't describe what's going on, then that's a po probably a positive interaction. So I would say to everybody out there, I paint the truth, I put it out there, and if the police think that's negative, and the, and the cop lover suckers out there think that's negative, then you need to step back and take a look at the police and see what it is they're doing, because what they're doing, the bulk of what they're doing, is negative. And that's why when we report on it, it comes off negative. And I'll give you this, I'll finish this up with this one little thing here. There's a video that just came out about Allentown police. They got caught on surveillance, beating a guy up. The guy's standing there. I guess he maybe the young guy was standing, he mouthed off a little bit, and the cop just gives him a big shove. The guy's not big at all, so he went flying on his ass. 
he gets back up and now the football team tackles him. There's like 10 cops just piled on top of this guy. So if I was to take that video, which other people are doing, I'm going to do, and put that up for all to see, am I painting them in a negative light? No. I'm painting the truth of what they are. And I would say to police, if you don't like what we're putting out there, change the way you behave. Because it's your behavior that's causing the problem. You're the ones getting caught on video beating people up, planting evidence, lying. I'm not doing it. The guy down the street's not doing it. You're doing it, Mr. Police Officer. So change your ways. And then myself and every other auditor out there, a commentator, YouTuber, doesn't have to put those negative stories up there, as you call it, negative stories. I call it the true stories, because they're true. The truth of what you're doing. And whether it's a cop over here or a cop over there, you're all the sum total. And that's how people view you. So if you want things to change, you don't want these negative stories out there, you don't want to see cop bashing stories, change your behavior. Ask yourself, Mr. Police Officer, when you're out there interacting with somebody, are you harassing them? Are you extorting from them? Are you hurting them? Are you trying to escalate? Because if you're doing any of those four things, you're being negative. This is Gunnison on the cover. Let me know what you think in the comment box. Like, share, subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook. Till next time, be well, be safe.